is a slightly different format of video where I actually produce this screen recording in the office just for a little bit of extra horsepower. And what we're going to talk through is how to create a lovely a sectional clipping animation where the kind of the project is revealing itself from the ground up. The section plane that we're going to use is, is kind of site wide, but if you wanted to just be focused on one building, this one here, say, and everything else is built, then you would put the section clipping plane within the group of that one build, just a little FYI. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk over this video and just explain the steps. So first things first is to create a section cut. So this section cut goes through the entire project, as I've mentioned. And I'm just lifting that up there. That first section cut will become a scene once we've picked a view. So we've got, it's not it's not strictly a parallel projected view, but it's one with a, a very high focal length. So it kind of looks orthogonal. That little white plane that you saw there, that, that causes us issues. And I mean, I couldn't quite get to the bottom of it, but it was just the, the height of the upper cut. So then what I've done is I've copied the section cut. And when you copy a section cut, it automatically makes it active. And then I set, when the active section cut is you know, completely above the project, therefore revealing the whole thing, I then create a view with a slightly, you know, a bit of camera animation as well and create a second scene. I then reduce, if you go into window, let me just jump back, that just that just sped up a little bit, I do apologize. Um, if you then go to window, model, info, so I'll just pause it there. What we then want to show, or what I'm trying to show here is, you want to turn the scene delay to zero because V-Ray will render that first second with just no action. So you want to set that to zero. And in the scene transition between those two, whatever time you give that is the length of your animation. So you can see there, I set it to five, set that to zero, and away we go. And then look at that, I'm just chopping between them, and you obviously already get a sense of what that's looking like. Then in the V-Ray settings, I'm changing it to a portrait mode. And the reason I'm changing it to portrait mode, I'll, I'll, again, I'll just pause it there. The reason I set it to portrait mode is I actually want, wanted to use the outcome for social media posts. But anyway, yeah, so, so render output. I've set it to portrait, but you set it to whatever. And then just hit save image there because you want V-Ray to render this animation as, well, it will render it as a series of images. And you need to give it a file path as it automatically save each frame too. So I'm just picking a file path there, just somewhere on the desk. So then hit animation. So toggle the animation on and then make sure you've selected entire animation. Now I don't think that I select motion blur for this because it would have hit render times, but just something to bear in mind that the, as the cameras move and you just get a little bit of motion blur, it's, it's lovely. All the other settings, I should say, are from a previous lesson. I've got another video um, where I show how to make this whole scene, the, a, a digital maquette using SketchUp and V-Ray. So if you want to know about, more about these settings and the whole scene, I encourage you to go and watch that video. I'll, I'll link that down below. I just set it to medium plus for render settings. Now, this is the thing where I was just getting a little bit of an artifact there. I think it was to do with that hidden plane. I actually couldn't couldn't find that hidden plane. So if someone can let me know what that is in the comments, that'd be great. Anyway, to rectify that, I just reset the starting section to just somewhere a bit lower. It kind of cuts into the finish a little bit, but I, I don't mind that. And here we go. And I look at that transition because it's five seconds. It's just a much smoother transition so the key takeaway is it's a starting section plane at a certain camera angle um you then save the scene so let me just go back to that you then save the first scene with your lower section plane you then move up you copy up uh, another section plane 
and you just slightly tweak the angle. You don't have to. You, you can you can keep a, a static angle if you want, but I think it, it adds a bit more bit more panache if you like. Um, and then you just save the second scene. You then mess with the transition information in model info as described. Turn the scene delay off to zero, and then just mess with the um, the length of the scene transitions. And then just as a little recap, in the V-Ray render settings, it is as simple as setting your quality, your resolution, where the frames are going to save to, and you just simply turn animation on, entire animation, and it's going to render between those scenes. You can actually add scenes as well. So you could actually you could make quite quite a decent um complicated animation as well where you could you could you know jump between camera views and, and different section clips and all that other stuff so very very simple process of making animations in V-Ray for SketchUp and then the thing I've done here is obviously the section clips transitioning between the two so I hope that's helpful I will um, provide the model and anything else in a, a in a link below as well either in the description or the comments have a look and um yeah short and snappy one but i hope that helped you nice one